I remember this moment. I'm always at this moment. I see four heroes, I jump. I take two heroes, and suddenly, it's the end of the game. As someone once said, right, he knows exactly what to do. And in that particular situation, he did as well. I think it's completely necessary, honestly. Looking at it, getting the carry down in a high ground defense, but all throughout the game, you could see the adjustments made by Blacklist International. This wasn't the same game, though it was the same outcome. Blacklist International made a few of the right adjustments, but it's a bit too steady and a bit, it's a bit too slow. Yep. They got the early game, but in the mid game, they still were actually just brought into that chaos that Echo constantly pushes onto you. They did a fantastic job on holding Echo before they get to that point where momentum is just on their side. Yue was uh, doing a fantastic job on the far side, but again, as I mentioned, it feels like there is a certain aspect or department on the side of Blackness that is severely lacking. It is, it is the presence of the gold laner. Maybe because of it, it's because of the matchup between the Beatrix and the carry. That's why I feel like Echo is prioritizing these aggressive gold laners like the Harriets, the Lunox, even the Mincitars, because they figured out that late game, yes, it's a, uh, you know, it's a thing that they need to contest, the uh, carrying Claude matchup, but Echo synergizes with this hero pretty, pretty well. Like the Beatrix, again, we uh, discussed it earlier when Benecuti was able to get his items. By minute eight, Echo was everywhere. They were all over the map, and Blacklist International, they were trying to find more resources, more farm for Owl, but it did not happen because Echo was always in the face of the carry. Sanford, personally, was always in front of Owl. We gotta give massive props to Coach Tic Tac, man, because we keep on bringing up the drafts, the winning lanes, and it's all set up by Coach Tic Tac, right? You could see, again, just how it ultimately works in the end, coming together in a very chaotic mess, even in the last team fight. 